we're gonna go ahead and keep this whole conversation moving y'all know what we got to do right after the roll call right we got to get right into got to get right into the rated recents man what's been going on so really now we can start detailing everything that's been going on with the team now that mandatory minicamp is underway so do like to point out that there is a lot of players a lot of players attending this camp as there should be right mandatory but at the end of the day we're sitting there saying you look around the league there are some holdouts going on right there are some contract negotiations going forth there are some players that might not be happy within their situations if you really look at what the Raiders got going on and how so far the vibe has been it's been really good to be honest and, and in my opinion right this is almost almost the cleanest and, and let's say chillest off season I've experienced in a while right I've experienced in a while and everything seems to be focused right on a singular goal and that is to win games right now you got some outliers from the fan base here and there but regardless of it right from the players coaches standpoint it seems very focused in the building so I'm excited for that right I'm very very happy for that honestly I, I think that we're going in the very right direction, man. I think we're going in the right direction. This team could be very scary the way it's going because they seem very, very focused, and the team seems together, honestly. like So what I'm about to read to you right now is the injuries, right, of the players that are injured and or not there. So I'm about to give you the injury updates. I said all that first soliloquy to give you this, right? The Raiders have 86 players practicing here on day two of mandatory minicamp that's 86 there's only five abs absences with colton miller with his shoulder but he is out there jake johanning a guard darian butler linebacker matthew butler dt and ellerson smith a dn right so only five players inactive not practicing but they have 86 players here at mandatory minicamp and yes for everybody that was tripping about Devonte not being out there for otas he's out there for minicamp like we said he was going to be right because at the end of the day there is no distractions as much as everybody want to make it seem to be bro there's no distractions there's no, oh, he don't really want to be here secretly or he's not really bought in secretly. Like, there's none of that, right? As much as people want to make it like that, there's really none of that going on. So at the end of the day, everybody is present. Everybody is accounted for, right? And like I just read to you, there's only five players with Colton Miller being, let's be honest, the most important player on that list. And it's still mini camp, right? By the time training camp rolls around Colton Miller will be all right so everybody's here everybody's ready to go right so that that's the first update that we'll go ahead and give you with the injuries right there like I said once again they have 86 players here for mandatory minicamp and I don't see anything you know decreasing that number everybody's gonna be here everybody's gonna be present unless it's something that they banged up and the coaching staff want to keep them out but as of right now we got damn near 100 percent participation damn near 100 percent participation and that right it's getting scary it's getting scary for the league bro because we we really we really are singularly focused right now we really have one singular focus and that's to whoop ass and that's all i need right that's all i need but let me see what y'all saying man what what, what do y'all think about the raiders having damn near 100% participation in mandatory minicamp, right? No holdouts, nobody tripping over contracts right now, right? None of that, none of that. It's all less win. So how do y'all feel about that right now? How y'all feel about the direction so far? As we're going into training camp, everything is it's getting real now, right? So we're going into training camp. What's the direction? How y'all feel about that? Y'all Y'all, let me know down below, man. Let me know in the comments. Let me see what y'all talking about, man. Uh... Hey, Chris, man, Chris for Raiders. Salute to you, man. Glad you can make it. He says 88 players showed up. 
true. That's tremendous, bro. That is tremendous. That's crazy to have 88 players, right? To show up. That means that there's buy-in. You feel what I'm saying? That means there's buy-in. Let me see. Hey, BZ says go check out Rob Ryan's interview. He's a legend. Yeah, we're gonna talk about a little bit more about the coaching interviews in just a little bit. But uh, yeah, his interview had me rolling, bro. He he for real, he's a real dude, bro. So I can guarantee I, I I can see the D line really liking him as far as what they what they're gonna be doing and hit how probably he coaches and his coaching style. But yeah, I definitely I definitely mess with Rob. I definitely mess with Rob. Rafa in the building. What's the deal, man? Glad you could be here, dog. Definitely glad you can be here. Um, Chris says, everybody wants to play for AP. It's what it sounds like as far as who's in the building, right? As far as who's in the building, it sounds like we have a lot of buy-in, bro. We have a lot of buy-in. Has Rob Ryan done a head and shoulders commercial yet? I don't think so. But honestly, we somebody got to get that set up. Somebody got to get that set up. I ain't going to cap. He do got some good hair. He do got some good hair. He going to have to get that set up some way, somehow with that marketing, right? Because at the end of the day, bro, he got he to he take advantage of that. Has to take advantage of that. Um, Leo says, Rob Ryan's amazing to see on that podium. Yeah, guaranteed. Um, Leo, boom, says, shows a lot of the culture shift seeing so many at the camp. For sure. Feels good to not have to look and worry about somebody holding out, right? It feels good to not have to sit here and worry about drama. Now, right? The goose ain't cooked yet, but at the end of the day, still, right? We we still, so far, there's no drama. So far. And I, I'm cool with that. I like boring, right? I, I hate when people be like, oh, you're boring. They just mad because I love peace, right? Like, you mad because I love peace. At the end of the day, don't be mad at me for that. I like drama free. That's that's the type of person I am anyway. I like the drama free shit. So can we keep this drama free? Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Oh yeah, and first of all, I'm glad Rafa said it right here. Shout out to my dog Leo for going ahead and touching that 300 subs, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. So everybody, if you can, let's help them get to 500. We're going to continue to ascend, right? And continue to do our thing and elevate. So at the end of the day, right? Congratulations to my dog, Leo, for getting that 300, man. But let's go ahead and let's help them get to that five, right? Let's help them get to that 500, man, guaranteed. So y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all know what time it is. Got to continue on with the conversation. Make sure you guys keep touching on the comment section right the show don't move without y'all so keep touching on that comment section y'all know what time it is all likes all donations appreciate it at the same time before we continue your boy rundown is trying to get to 2,000 subs before the season starts trying to get to 2,000 before the season starts i will be giving away a nate hobbs jersey right courtesy and from help from my guy leo Shout out to my guy, by the way. He's the jersey plug. But your boy trying to get to 2K subs. So at the end of the day, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Come holler at your boy Rundown if you're a Raider fan. Y'all know what time it is, man. And trying to give away a Nate Hobbs jersey at 2K to a random subscriber. So we'll see what goes on in there, man. Smash them likes, but y'all already know what it is. We need 2,000 subs before the season starts. Let's get it. So as we continue on with the conversation, 